is Paul Gannett, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy our Hobo MX801 logger with a DO sensor and a CTD sensor. So this is the logger right here, and it's attached to our two sensor adapter, uh, and that adapter is connected to our DO sensor and our uh, CTD sensor in here that measures conductivity, temperature, and depth. And uh, I've also got the optional anti-fouling guard on it, which reduces the biofouling. And I've already calibrated the DO sensors and the C, uh, CTD sensor, or the conductivity sensor, back uh, at the office, so those are ready to go. And I've also started a barometric pressure logger above my head here to record barometric pressure uh, during the deployment to account for barometric pressure changes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've actually fashioned this uh, housing that's going to go over the, the logger and give it a little additional protection uh, during this uh, creek deployment. So I'm going to go do that right now. All right, I've got the uh, logger installed in the protective housing now, and I've attached it to the uh, cement block that will keep it on the bottom. I've also attached a, uh, a tether chain to the, the housing to secure it to the, uh, the bridge, which is down here. All right, now I'm going to use our Hobo Connect app running on my phone to configure this uh, data logger for deployment. So I'm going to select uh, the logger in my Hobo Connect screen. I've already named it Mill Creek. And now I'm going to tap on Customize Configuration and Start. Uh, I don't need that data, so I'm going to continue on. It's brought up the screen. You can see this is the screen where I um, set up things like the name. I've already called it uh, Mill Creek, so I don't have to re-enter that. I've already set my logging interval for five minutes, and I'm going to have it start on the next five-minute logging interval. So it's all configured the way I want it. So I just need to press Start. It's configuring the logger. Configured successfully. I'm ready to deploy it. All right, now I've attached the, uh, the logger uh, and the cement block to the, to the bridge so I can lower it down into the water. It's good there. Now I need to take a reference water level measurement, so I'm going to use my uh, yardstick here and uh, measure it down. I can see that it's uh, 18 inches, so it's a foot and a half. And I got to make a mental note of that because I'm going to use that measurement is my reference water level measurement. I also need to check the time. So I've got 5:10 uh, right now and I'll make notes of those in my uh, log notebook and I'll use that later on when I process the data. So at this point, the logger's deployed and ready to go. All right. So my logger's been deployed for a couple of days and now I'm ready to retrieve the data. So I pull it up. You have to pull it up because the Bluetooth communications won't go through the water, so we got to bring it up on shore. So uh, I'm going to bring it up on shore right now. All right, now I'm ready to offload my data using the Hobo Connect app on my smartphone. So to do that, I connect to the logger, which I've called Mill Creek. It connects. Now I just tap on download data. Downloads complete. Now, I could sh export and share the data at this point, but I'm uh, going to wait and do that later on once I've combined in the water level data. So I'm just going to tap on Done at this point. Now I connect to my barrel logger. And again, I just tap on Download Data to offload its data. Now this is the barometric pressure data, which I'm going to associate with that other file to calculate water level. And again, I'm going to skip over sharing that data at this point. And now I exit from that. And I go to this other tab at the bottom called Data. And tap on the logger file name, Mill Creek. And you can see it's kind of done a plot of the data here. To access the water level data assistant, I tap on these three dots here. And you see there's a, an icon that looks kind of like a ruler up here. I tap on that. That brings up the assistant. I tap on brackish because we've got brackish water here. I enter in my reference water level, which you may remember 
was one and a half feet. So I've entered that. Now I want to link in my barometric pressure data file. And it's my barrel logger. Process that data. All right, now here's where I'm actually going to save the, um, the file uh, with the water level data. So I just have the option to export it. So I'm going to tap on that. Save it as an XLSX file, and it's been successful. I could share it at this point. I'm just going to skip ahead to uh, look at the graph. And now to look at the water level data on my Hobo Connect app, I uh, just tap on this icon that's got the graph line on it. And I scroll down. I find the new water level series that's been added. Tap on that. OK. And now I can see my water level data. So that's really all there is to uh, offloading data and processing the data. So thanks for uh, watching.